What's happening? Dungeon Direct here, bringing you a quick Black Desert online video on the Season Boss Exchange coupon. This season, summer of 2021, you can get up to two of these coupons, one for free during the graduation process, and then another one optionally. You can exchange 40 swell seashells uh, to get a second Boss Exchange coupon. And um, whether it's worth getting a second one, um, I'll cover this video. Spoiler alert, probably not. And then I also wanted to cover what are the various exchanges that are good and what are the bad, depending based off the various limitations and caveats of the Season Boss Exchange coupon, which we'll cover. Now, real quick, the way you use this Season Boss Exchange coupon is you take your Tuvala gear and you convert it to off-season uh, during early graduation. You can use conversion stones, um, and that, or you can wait until the season event ends, and then these will be converted automatically. Optionally, you can use previous season Tuvala gear as well. Um, I believe there was someone that tested this, but you know you can test that out. Um, and basically, once you do that, you will get a season boss gear one level below your uh, whatever your armor or weapon piece was that you exchanged. So if you have a pen Tuvala armor piece, you'll get a Tet uh, Dimtree armor uh, for that process. Now, for weapons specifically, they're useful because you get a box when you could use this uh, coupon. And that box can be opened on any other class so that you can then get the class-specific weapons for your main class or whatever other class you want to try. So um, it, that's a, that's really what I use them for, but we'll go over all of those in a little bit. Now, um, I did have a link in the description below. You guys can feel free to make a copy of this as usual. And um, before getting into what are the great picks, I just wanted to let you guys know three pieces of key information that will help make, uh, that you really should know regarding the Season Boss Exchange coupon. First off is uh, these armor and weapon pieces exchange exactly to the uh, to the ones uh, on the right. So there are there's no way to get Ergons or anything else uh, other than Muskin Sues, which is a shame because these kind of suck, um, especially for the builds that I have. Anyways, the second uh, is that you will not be able to sell these in the marketplace, even if you enhance the pen. So even if you enhance the pen, you will not be able to sell these to the marketplace. There is a um, slight exception to the rule, which we'll cover in a little bit. And then thirdly, the weapon and armor pieces, no matter what you exchange it for, will be exactly the same, except one level lower in terms of stats. So a Tet Dandelion, for this example here, will be have the same stats as a pen Jordan, even the item effect and so on. I don't believe there are any hidden or magical stats uh, when you're using the season of boss gear. Um, if there is, please let me know in the comments section below and I'll try to update this video. But here are two examples. The only difference with this example is this screenshot was taken in the, from the marketplace so you will not be able to sell, uh, sell them. I just didn't convert these uh, myself. Um, these are, um, and but as you can see, even for Kudum, all the AP accuracy, evasion, DP, damage reduction, and so on, along with the item effects, are the same. So that kind of brings the question: What are these really used for? If you can't sell them in uh, the the marketplace and they're identical to their Tet uh, uh, to their pen alternatives, what? Why would you even use them? Well, um, there are a few edge cases there that you can use these for. Um, they're usually used for um, basically progressing as a, as a little bit of a help to progress to your gear. Um, for weapons specifically, you can use these, like I said, to open on another character or another class uh, to have, so your so your main uh, class can have a backup weapon once when they're enhancing and they won't lose effectiveness if they take a tet and try to enhance it to a pen and after a, little bit of a um, bad luck streak to end up getting to a duel, you can then just use the the equivalent, uh, the, the boss gear that you had exchanged for. Other than that, um, there is one other alternative which I'll go into. People also use this for um, fill stacks, building fill stacks for boss gear. When you get up to a certain stack, you, can, uh, you should be using um, boss gear to make sure you fail and get that. Um, so that's really what uh, the usefulness of this is. So let's go into the actual picks. For the first three, the armor pieces specifically, um, 
there's really no need to um, convert these because you can use these on your on any other class. They're not class restrictive or whatever. Um, and also, Mexican shoes and guides. I just you know just I just dump them on an alt to be honest because they are inferior to Ergon shoes or for in terms of helmet, Griffin helm or heaves are uh, much better alternatives for most builds. For Beg's gloves, um, I use. I use this um, for on my main um, without converting it, of course, to um, just as a as a backup in case I blow up my bags. So I have a different bags, not uh, not seasonal that I'm enhanced. And if I blow it up to try, then I just can use my Tubala armor without losing any um, any stats there until I can grind back up to Tet. Um, and really. These are not effective, even if you enhance these to pen. Some people do like to enhance these to pen just so that they can get um, a pen really, really fast using cron stones and just force it. Um, you are getting a free tet, so some of the sunk costs might be offset in terms of the um, armor stones and um, the fail stacks and cron stones. They may be offset. I believe these are worth about uh, anywhere from 1.5 to 2 billion. So, you know your dealer's choice. And then let's go into the Tuvala armor. So this will be a little bit long because uh, there is a special edge case for this uh, dim tree armor that you can use. You can basically get Fallen God armor, which is the end game gear uh, as of now for uh, Black Desert. Um, and the way you do this is you basically take the pen Tuvala, exchange it for a, for a tet, and then enhance it to pen using armor stones, fell stacks, cron stones, and so on. And then you um, get to a pen. Then you invest thousands upon thousands of Kaffir stones to get a pen uh, dim tree armor. Then you can go through a quest line, which will require more mats, like a 600 million uh, silver uh, uh, flame of despair. Then and only then, once you get the Fallen God armor, you can put it in the marketplace if you choose. But having gone through all that trouble, I don't know if you if it would really be worth it. Now that is, um, there is a caveat here. This is not a recommended pick, and the reason for this is because you're going to need about a thousand additional Kaffir stones compared to Red Nose, which you can follow the same progress around. So you can save yourself quite a bit of money by buying a Tet Red Nose, investing Kaffir stones, and uh, basically save yourself about a billion. So let's get into that. Um, I have a little bit of calculation on the side here. The, so the total number of Kaffir stones needed for Dim Tree are 8,260. For a pen red nose, you're going to need 7,224 for a difference of 1,036. So um, taking the cost of Kaffir stones um, at the time of this recording was 2.8 billion. So you're going to need 23 billion silver for Dim Tree compared to the pen red nose, which you only need like 20 billion or so, which will give you a difference of about 2.9 billion silver. Now the prices can fluctuate depending on the cost of capras. Um, so technically you could buy a Ted red nose straight off the marketplace, which was 2 billion at the time of this recording and enhance the pen and go into that and then basically get your, uh, save yourself almost a billion silver. So, the actual amount is 880 million or 881 if you round up. Um, you're going to be saving that much silver just by going with a pen red nose compared to a tet. So even though a tet uh, dim tree is free, you are going to be you are technically paying a billion for it because of the capra stones. Now um, I wouldn't recommend this to be your first choice. Um, it's really up to you depending on if you have the silver. To enhance it, but I would leave this probably as um, my second or third choice. I wouldn't recommend getting a season boss exchange coupon sp just for this because if you're just starting out, saving up 23 billion is going to take you a long time. And this doesn't even cover the cost of enhancing your tet to a pen. It's just this is the pure cost of the Kaffir stones. You're also going to need 600 million in terms of a flame of despair and. Um, Cron stones, which you get. So there's uh, the costs really add up. Um, so this can be a decision you guys can uh, put for another season because seasons 
do happen once or twice a year. So by the time you have all of those available and you're ready to get to your Fallen God armor, you can um, uh, get another one of these for free during that other bo uh, season event. So just a little bit of note there. If you guys are intending to use this Dim Tree armor, because it's really not worth it unless you are and you're willing to pay the extra 1 billion silver. Anyways, let's go into the Tuvala main hand awakening and sub weapons. Like I said, I use these for um, basically getting backup weapons as I'm enhancing my other Zar Zarka weapon or Dandelion 2 pen. If I blow them up and get to dual or try, then I can just use these temporarily. I would not enhance these to pen. The first one I would get is a Tuvala uh, sub weapon to a Ted Kudum, uh, just because Kudums are very useful, and if you end up blowing up your Kudum, uh, you lose a, a lot of AP and a lot of various stats. So, and and also, there's no Black Star equivalent with Kudum. So this is the last thing you're going to upgrade to Pen, anyways. So you can just leave it as Ted in your inventory, and then just uh, focus on your other uh, armor weapon pieces, and. And yeah, that's really it, guys. Now, whether I could get a season, a second season boss exchange coupon, I would not. Even if you, uh, I was going to get a second one of these, I uh, these seasons come by so often that it's really not worth it unless you you don't find any use for other other pieces. Um, for me, last video um, I talked about Spectre's Energy, which is one of the pieces you can convert for, I believe, a thirty um, from the Swell Sea Show video. And that can help you get a Black Star weapon uh, uh, very quickly um, compared to, and you don't have to grind it. Those are just a pain to grind for. So I, the usefulness of getting a second one of these is pretty limited. Anyways, guys, um, if you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, share. And as always, thanks for watching.